Hello everyone, welcome back to our chemistry class. So we are still in 6.2 equilibrium constant and this is part F of this subtopic. So in this video, we will be talking about degree of dissociation. So first and foremost, dissociation reaction is a chemical re reaction whereby a molecule is broken down into smaller molecules, atoms or ions. Okay? The fraction or the percentage of molecules that dissociate, we call it as degree of dissociation, symbolized by alpha. So if a dissociation occurs completely, the value of alpha is equal to 1 or 100%. But if the dissociation is incomplete, we can calculate the value of alpha based on the following formula. So alpha is equals to the concentration changes divided by the constant initial concentration times 100%. So let's take a look at example 12. So from the question, kita kasih keluar dulu semua maklumat yang diberikan. So concentration of HCOH at initial is 0.5 molar and concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium is 8.9 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So you were asked to determine the degree of dissociation of HCOOH. So sebab kita mau cari degree of dissociation, kita kena ada changes in concentration lah untuk HCOOH. Jadi untuk cari changes of concentration HCOOH itu, kita akan pakai ice table. So macam biasa kita construct dia punya table and then kita label table tersebut dengan concentration, initial change dan juga equilibrium. And then lepas tu kita letak pada row paling atas itu adalah persamaan untuk dissociation reaction itu. And please take note dalam itu equation kita ada water dalam phase liquid so ingat liquid dia tidak terlibat dalam pengiraan kesi so kita terus sahaja cancel out roi uh, baris yang itu and then we fill in the table using the information that are given from the question at equilibrium we are given that the concentration of H3O plus is equals to 8.9 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Jadi maksudnya X kita adalah sama dengan 8.9 darab 10 kuasa negative 3. Therefore, the initial concentration for HCOH is 0.5 molar and the change, changes in concentration for HCOOH is equals to 8.9 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Jadi daripada kedua-dua maklumat ini kita boleh cari degree of dissociation. Kita just fill in the value yang kita jumpa tadi ke dalam equation dan bila kita tekan calculator kita akan dapat degree of dissociation is equals to 1.78%. So itu sahaja untuk video kali ini, video yang agak pendek berkaitan dengan degree of dissociation. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a nice day everyone. Bye-bye.